Welcome, everybody. Welcome to DLD 2015. Welcome, my friends, so many friends here. Every year, I'm so happy to see you, this amazing crowd. Thank you, Dr. Berda. Thank you, Dr. Cullen. Thank you, Yossi, my three chairmen who helped me so much to manage you to get you here. Bravo. And every year I'm nervous before this speech. So last year it was our 10th DLD. This year it's our 10th DLD in this location. Can you believe it? As part of this anniversary, we did a little clearing up in the basement of this former city castle built 300 years ago. And what did we find? We discovered some real, real DLD history some absolutely ghostly treasures that we would love to share with you now. Where is our sharing experience? But what you just saw, it's only a tiny part of the entire DLD collection, the pieces we quickly managed to restore. I see quite a few of the faces here today. Mitchell Baker just came. Mitchell, you are part of them. I what can I say? DLD is quite a community, a global community, isn't it? So, dear community, why are we all here? Remember, four years ago, our DLD motto was all you need is data, followed by the themes, patterns that connect, and content and context. All these mottos were revolving around understanding that data and algorithms dramatically change our world. This year, I have chosen the motto, it's only the beginning. Let me tell you why. I believe the real digital revolution, Joe, hasn't happened yet. It's happening right now. Yes, a small elite has shaped the internet we know today. For over the last 20 years, they have evangelized it, earned and lost tons of money with it. I'm very proud that many of the leaders and shapers and visionaries of this crowd are here today. But what we have seen in the, these last years, it really was only the foreplay the foreplay. You all know the internet now permeates every corner of every life. Digitality is omnipresent, just like electricity, and this drives an enormous change. Here are a few examples that we will talk about later today and during the next days. In the world of work, for example, entire career path will have to reinvent themselves. Not only cab drivers are becoming dispensable in times of Uber and other services. Smarter machines and robots 
don't only replace manual labor, but also take over more intellectual tasks. They can build machines, extinguish fires, write simple text, and drive cars. You all know it much better than me. <laughs> Along with, new cultural, with, a new, with any new cultural technique, new career paths are born, old ones disappear. New patterns are replacing trad traditional ones. Do we have to be afraid? Quite the contrary. I'm convinced that these developments predominantly yield opportunities, big opportunities for innovation, but also, also for being more human. Elaborated tools, for example, are going to support us journalists to extract knowledge news from huge da data sets and give us more time for other creative things. Similar predictions are made for other fields too. These are only some examples for what we are going to talk about at DLD this year. In the future, we will have a lot more time for the stuff that really matters in life. And this, I believe, will have a positive impact. And this we have to discuss. In any case, we have to realize that we cannot stop these developments. Instead, we have to design this revolution before it molds us. We have to be more curious about everything technological, more courageous, and most of all, even more passionate. Yossi, more passionate. You are a master of passion. <laughs> With all these mere examples, I just want to highlight the enormous potential that new technologies are offering us. We should talk a lot more about that. With all skepticisms, my glass is ha not half empty, it's half full. There's a lot we don't know yet. We have to learn how to learn it. We have to learn how to learn it. It's so important, not only for us, for our future generations. So, I invite you to do this here at DLD for the next days. Dive into lively discussions, meet new people, get new friends, get new ideas, find new opportunities, businesses, and please mingle with an open heart and enjoy yourself at our breakfast, lunches, and parties. Now allow me to welcome on stage my impressive chairman, Yossi Vardi. I learned so much from you. Thank you, Steffi. Good afternoon. Between us, the professional speakers and schmoozers, this session just after lunch is known as the graveyard session because people tend to sleep a little bit. A few weeks ago, when I addressed uh, people, can I move it? It's too high for me. When I addressed such an audience uh, in the afternoon, a guy was falling asleep in the first row. So I signaled to the guy next to him, can you please wake him up? He looked at me and he said, you made him sleep, you wake him up. <laughs> now, my Schoendorf, I know that you know the joke, but you can smile a little bit. Good. Can you stand up, turn around, and show the people how wonderful is your smile? OK. My role is to get you loosen up and to have some, to, to start the fun. I, uh, Asimov, the great uh, writer on robots, wrote an article in 1953 which was unknown and was uh, published a few, few months ago by uh, Technology, Technology Review of MIT, and he said that in order to get people innovative, you have to get them loose, you have to get them into do fun things and a little, even a little bit silly. And my role is to inspire you to do it, so we will take the, the next few minutes to do some exercise. But before that, who is in DLD for the first time in his life? Raise your hand. Who was already in DLD in the past? Raise your hand. So about 40% were, 20% were not, and 40% don't understand my accent. That's the only. <laughs> now, 10 years ago, in the 
Shind off, you are depressing me. Go away. Either you smile for my joke, even though I'm not uh, funny, or you go away. <laughs> okay. Can you make a bigger smile? That's the biggest you can. We will, we will have to treat you separately. Hi, Mrs. Redding. Can I tell the people what I told you in four eyes? No. <laughs> she object. Okay, never mind. Uh, so Asimov said the key for innovation is to have a little bit fun, to be loosened up, etc. Ten years ago when we started DLD, I made, I ran a panel about the Israeli culture of innovation, and I asked the people to take off their jackets. Only one third of the people felt free enough to take off their jacket. I would like to make an experiment. Ladies and gentlemen, why, you don't take, why don't you take off your jacket and get a little bit loose? Let's see how many of you are doing it. Only the jacket don't go under the jacket. <laughs> That's all. Anybody who is taking his off his jacket, stand up. <laughs> Steffi, not, not much, not more than, not so much. <laughs> Me? OK. Okay, now, for those of you who are here, that you know the drill. It's, you can sit down, it's okay. <laughs> How about ties? You know the main effect of ties on innovation? It stops the flow of oxygen into the brain and make you totally no ties. Okay, we are doing some advancement. Now, the difference between the virtual conference and DLD that here you can touch, you can feel the people, you can see them not via the glass, but one-to-one. -one. So again, we are going to do it. First of all, knock with your foot on the ground as much as you can. OK, OK, enough, enough. Second, when I count to three, shout, take, take air, and shout as strong as you can. One, two, three. Steffi, we are doing a good advancement. That's very good for 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, shake the hand of the eight people which are around you and tell them your name. Eight, yeah. OK, OK. Thank you. Now. Schoendorf, I see that you are using your phone. You are not engaged. Schoendorf. Schoendorf, come next to me. I need to come stand here. No, OK. Now, only after I count to three, you turn 180 degrees to the, pre to the person behind you and say hello to him. One, two, three. Okay. I see you. Now tap, tap lightly on the back, on the shoulder of your friend, of the, on the shoulder of your neighbor. Good. Uh, Hubert, this part of the body is not a shoulder. Now we almost done. We almost done. You are getting loose, and that's very good. Now, please bow, make a nice bow to your, towards your neighbor. And we are going now the Japanese way, not to meet your neighbor. And we are going to finish it as every year in the Eskimo way, rub your nose with your... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a great fun. We are going to get some great ideas. We are going to meet wonderful people, but the most important thing, have fun and be passionate, right? She told me passionate, passionate. She didn't tell me you have to, to improve, but that's uh, And again, thank you to Steffi. Thank you to Mr. Cullen and Thank you to Hubert Burda. Thank you very much. And